YouTube, Sarah 13 here. Oh, oh my god! god. Happy birthday to me! This deck is unbeatable in my opinion. YouTube, Sarah's 13 here. It is time again for another one of my interviews. And tonight's victim, as I've been calling them recently, is Amanda LaPalm. You know her as Dragon Duelist Girl? I know I said I'd be helping out the up and coming Yu Gi tubers but once in a while I'm going to surprise you guys with one of the bigger Yu Gi tubers Right? And here she is right here. It's Amanda sitting at home. And Hi, everyone. And we are we are going to have an interview. You know how it goes. Uh, basically, uh, let me see how the angle is. Sorry about my hand being in the way. Okay, so um, you know how it runs. I basically fire off about anywhere from 15 to 20 questions while we're having a quick duel. And uh, mind you, I've found that recently my interviews have not been so quick. They've been running about an hour long, so... <laughs> Well, give or take, anyways, 45 minutes to an hour, so it's, it's kind of crazy. Right, so what I'll do is I'll roll the dice. I rolled a two. I don't know if you have a dice there or not. Okay, you can roll for me. All I right. think I'll beat that. I'm, and you did. You got a five right there. See, you guys? Five right there. I would call bullshit if, you got a, if I got a one. Actually, it's a rabbit, so. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why. I have, I have a play set of those, too. <laughs> All right, so um, you won, so you can go first if you want. All right. I will um, draw a five. As for your video, um, do, I, do I get to see your video, or do you just tell me what you have? I will angle the camera down a little bit there. Can you see my table? I don't see your uh, video on here. Video's not on here. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. shit. Okay, hang on, hang on. Um, <laughs> my video's not on. There we go. How did I do that? I was trying to say earlier. I don't think you understood. Okay. Oh, no. I, I guess I didn't hear that. Okay. Now you can see, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Jeez, I've been talking to you without the bloody camera the whole time. <laughs> that is funny. Okay. I'll start. All right. And uh, I guess... Um, now, you just had an interview with the Inevitable Sam. Yeah. Um, and a lot of my questions are going to be quite similar, but some of my viewers may not be subbed to him, so you never know. Okay. They, they probably haven't seen him, but uh, obviously, um, one of the questions I guess you get asked a lot in any interview, because I see I, I know that you've done quite a few, uh, is yeah. how and when did you get into Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, how and when? Um, at first, I didn't really know about the game. It, it had just started. It was like season one, nothing, like probably two episodes into the show. Right. And I, uh, my uncle got me into it. Um, I, I went over a friend's house and they had a bunch of the cards. And I was so jelly. I was so mad that I couldn't get a hold of the cards because I was one of those kids that I had no money and I had nobody in my family that could spoil me. So <laughs> oh. I started drawing my own Yu-Gi-Oh cards. You're kidding so me. I would, I would like draw the stuff from the TV show and play with them. That's with awesome. Brother. And that is how the Orica was born. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Okay. Well, I've seen no. your art, and it's pretty phenomenal. So that's... Uh, uh, when did you discover you had this talent, by the way? Um, drawing, I just always did it. You know, most kids do when they're when they're younger. But then um, when they, uh, they... People usually grow out of it, but I never did. It was my main hobby. So I kept drawing and drawing. And then I would always apply my art skills that I learned to my hobbies that I loved with them. So... That's I cool. always video game related stuff, video related stuff. That's cool. So I summoned Drago. Okay, got oh goody. I'll end and reveal. <laughs> Wyvern. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Um, I draw. Uh, I don't really. All right, here, hang on here. I can do something here. I'm going to play Solar Recharge. Okay. And draw two. And then mill two, one being a Gores, the other one being Card Trooper. Okay. 
Uh, wow. Drago! I know. I know, but, uh, I, I, uh, oh boy, I got a problem. <laughs> Drago kind of cramps my style right now. Should have said that right, though, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I should have saved him, but I was kind of hoping maybe I'd get another one and something better, too, but oh well. <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, what other animes do you like or watch? Other than Yu-Gi-Oh, I mean. Yeah, um, I told the Neville fan um, Cowboy Bebop, but um, right. when I was younger, I did uh, watch a lot of, lot of Bleach before it uh, was uh, dubbed in the U.S. Right. I would watch Bleach and Naruto. Um, when it came to the U.S., I just kind of fell out of it. Um, it just stopped appealing to me as much, so I haven't really done anime since. Yeah, they kind of... Um changed the stories a bit when they switch it over to English, right? So Yeah. I just fell out of it, but I did um watch a little bit of Samurai Shampoo recently. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Um I sort of have Netflix and I've been watching a few um different I watched all of Soul Eater. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I've heard that's a really good one. I probably should check that one out. It is. It's actually quite good. And another one I found out was pretty good was Samurai Seven actually was pretty cool. I imagine the Japanese versions are better, but but on Netflix they don't have the Japanese versions. You yeah. know what? I really can't. Sometimes the English, sometimes the English dub can actually uh, live up to expectations. Like when I watch Viva, I watch it in English. I actually prefer the English over the Japanese. Is that a card? Yeah, gonna set one. That's all I can do really. So go right ahead. Monster skull or what? What's that? Is it a monster or? Okay. Yes. Oh no, it's it's a monster. Okay. All right. My turn. I'll draw. Attack. All right. That's my tour bus. Tour bus? Okay. All right. And you know our effect, right? Yeah. All right. Return Gores? Return Raiko? I'm going to return my Raiko. Absolutely. I didn't get to use him, so maybe I'll have a chance to use him again. <laughs> and there we On go. On my end phase, I'll reveal Wyvern again. All right. Return. This damn... You know, you figure you couldn't find them, and you end up playing the one that you could find? Yeah. All right. Wow. A whole lot of nothing again. Um, so, with him out, I can't special summon lights or darks, right? Yep. Awesome. <laughs> uh, all right, then I'll have to do another face now. Okay. Uh, and I'll ask you another question while you're getting ready to go there. Um do you play any other card games? Um, I tried getting into Vanguard. It just really didn't appeal to me just because the mechanics work so differently. I um, hear you a hundred percent. Yeah. I was just way too used to Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, so I never got into that. I, I almost got into Magic the Gathering because um, it's very similar to Yu-Gi-Oh except it has a, a resource system. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, the, the people I met through Magic are actually really all, all they were almost all really nice people you know uh the the crowd that it attracts is a very different kind of group of people oh you yes know? yeah they're a lot more laid back yes but um i just i was too overwhelmed with the fact that there was just so many cars out and you know even though they, they cycle through formats and they don't use all of those cards it just still i felt like i was way too behind because yeah. with you you know i started out from the very very beginning but with magic there was like over 15 years of stuff i had never seen so Exactly, right? I mean, I played Magic when it first came out, so it was a little easier for me. Yeah. Um, but then it just got, like you say, overwhelming, so I just decided, screw it, I gave it up. I didn't play any TCGs for the longest time until my uh, ex-wife's kids got me hooked on this one. So. <laughs> That's good. Um, attack face up. All right, and that one's tour guide, so I know I should have summoned it, but then I wouldn't have been able to activate the bloody effect, so. I just saved it in hand, take a few hits from Drago. Oh, yeah. that one. All right. So, crap. I will draw. Nope. <clears throat> oh, boy. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. I'm going to have to set another one because I'm really not getting anything that's game changing right now. <laughs> uh, all right. So, I got a, an interesting question I've been asking people. If you could design a Yu Gi Oh card, like design a whole new card or add something to an archetype, what would it be? I would give Crystal Beasts an XYZ. Really? 
Yeah, I would give them a level four X, Y, Z, um, something that would help them toolbox. I'm not quite sure the effect yet. I don't want something that would break the archetype, but no. I think it's uh, something that would help them a lot. And I think it's one of those archetypes where people like them just because of what they are, yeah. not because they're a good deck. You know, just like people love samurais, not because they were a great deck even when they did get the good support, but just because the archetype appealed to them. It was something they thought was cool. Um, and I, I think Crystal Beast was definitely one of those memorable um, archetypes, memorable right. archetypes. I think they, they, they deserve some more play. So I'd like to see that. I tried out Crystal Beasts a long time ago. They actually did, you know, have uh, playability for a long time, but they've just fallen off the map. Yeah, yeah, for sure. They came out, they were pretty playable. All right, um, I'll attack your base now. Okay, and a, it is honest, so it's even. Oh, okay. <laughs> hate that card so much. <laughs> yeah, right, but at least deal. I didn't use it the way it's supposed to be used, because it's the only thing yeah, I had yeah. that was playable. Uh, all right. Uh, and you put a set, uh, you haven't said anything else? Um, no, I haven't. I just revealed for a turn. Okay. I will draw. All right. Oh, goody. Wow. You know what? I'm sitting pretty as is. Uh, <laughs> I can't really... I'll go on a set of cards. Um, <laughs> uh, no, I got nothing to set either. I'll just leave there. I'll leave Mike just like that. My turn? Yep. Yeah. Proxy I, Drago I just threw into. <laughs> Proxy Drago? Yeah, just yeah. so you guys know, I she didn't realize we were going to actually have a duel. So uh, she had to put together a deck real quick, so she couldn't find all her Dracos. So she's proxying a couple, so we'll, we'll let her get away with it this time. <laughs> Only this time. Yeah, but just this time. Next time, you know, going to have to put my foot down. Um, anyway, um, so... I ask everybody this, uh, what do you predict for the next ban list? And I'm sure you were, I think you were asked by Saiyan too, so. Um, I, I don't, I don't remember actually, to, to be honest, uh, if, what, or if he asked me that, but I don't think he did actually. Um, I gave it a lot of thought, and though I haven't played this format as much as I normally play formats, mm -hmm. um, and after seeing the March ban list, you know, after going through that, I just feel like things are going to be just, going to be so random it was so random last time they I know. so many that were relevant to a format ago you know the year before nationals yeah um it was just so weird <laughs> i don't know um i mean if anything's going to get unbanned i'm thinking between tribe infecting because i mean if you have cards like dark hole torrential you're already not over uh overextending into the game right so Tribe infecting, discarding a card to pop something, it's going to be a one for one break even. It's not going to take a lot of cards with it. Right. And in any situation that it would, any good player would have something for it. Like we have effect failure now, so it's not as broken as a card as it used to be. That so I guess it was tribe infecting fires deserves an unban. Yeah. Um, maybe Sukiyomi, maybe. I'd and like to see that. Either, yeah. And I can see I'm Demonk or Magician of Faith if they ban Reborn. Magician of Faith, I, that'd be cool. Yeah, I can see maybe uh maybe Reborn getting banned and maybe the Premature getting unbanned. Just because I mean, with a triple MST format, you can take care of uh, Premature a lot easier than than Reborn. So. Yes, and I'd like I think myself I'd like to see Demok come back too. You know. Yeah, um, I'm not sure how it would work with spell books though. That's the only thing that I'm thinking why it might not because uh, I'm not sure how that archetype works quite yet because I haven't looked into it. But I think there's a card that can allow it to toolbox too easily. So that might be why it, it, Magician of Faith is more likely to get in bands than that. So. Right. Right. But it's because you can really only use a, a Magician of Faith, unless you're playing some sort of an empty jar deck with her. You can really only abuse her once anyway. So. Yeah. I mean, she would definitely be splashed in any deck if there were oh, a lot yeah. of spells. Or but, I mean, Heavy Storm shouldn't take more than, you know, one card. And adding Heavy Storm back to your hand. If, if someone sees you add Heavy Storm back to your hand, they're not going to set more than one spell. Right. Um, and if someone sees, but if, as opposed to someone seeing you add Reborn, they can't really stop you reusing Reborn. So Reborn is what would make Magician of Faith broken. Totally. But I think uh, if they hit her, we might see something, uh, you know, we might see that. If I, they hit Reborn, we might see her. Um, one thing that I do think should get banned, um, 
and I actually agree with a lot of people if they come to me about this, either Future Fusion or uh, Five-Headed. Um, just the, the turn one with Chaos Dragons is just all um, stupid. Oh, I know. I do agree. I know. <laughs> Opening with it is unbalanced. But at the same time, I think Future Fusion can be a fair use card in other decks. Oh, sure. So, Heroes. I think Future Fusion itself should be banned. But then you're looking at the OCG list, and you do see that the OCG list heroes, um, like bubble builds and stuff, are topping very consistently. Yep. And um, with the new Dark um, Hero coming out, you it, there might be some room for abusability, like instant Necro stumps and stuff. Yeah, exactly, so, yeah. So that's why I can also see maybe Future Fusion getting hit. Um, I think I, I agree with you. I think it's going to be, of anything... Of any of these decks right now, I think Future Fusion is high on their priority list. Yeah. And some stuff with windups and executors too. But I definitely think um, it would have it, it has a lot more to do with the OCG though if they do hit Future Fusion than the DCG. Just because I don't think Future Fusion is the issue in the DCG. I think Five Headed is more of the issue because heroes aren't really doing much in the DCG. They're they're the top deck in Japan. So. True, true, true enough. That's true. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, I drew. And I'm just, I don't want to put more than one monster on the field. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not holding Darkhole if that's what you're worried about. I'm all set. I'll reveal. Go ahead. All right. Give me something to play. There we go. All right. Um... <laughs> wow. All right. I'll have to set one face down. Yeah, and that's all I can do because I've got six cards, so I can't be holding seven. Yeah, I know. That's why I've only been setting two. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. Well, I'll leave my uh, my honest there, and I got a face down one there. Here, there. Right. Now you can I'll see. I'll check it a your face better. down. Okay. Uh, it's Sangat. Okay. Go ahead and search. All right. This will give me something else to play. There we go, Raiko. <laughs> you need it so badly. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, thing, I mean, I have a really strong... It, it's not really fair to you if that you're playing Chaos Dragons, because this is, like, probably my strongest matchup. The Strago, so good. Oh, he uh, is, man. Visuality. He is, he is. Oh, okay. I reveal Mass Dragon, Mystical Space Typhoon, and Totem Dragon. All right. Um, I'll add Totem Dragon's hand. Okay, good choice, good choice. Mine are on loan to a buddy of mine that's running a Disaster Dragon. I believe he was actually inspired by you, so. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Because he he saw that you had the totems and stuff like that, and and I and he's like, and dread dragon back when you were using that, and he's like, can I borrow them? I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure, man. Why? Why not? Go ahead. Because I was I was running light sworn at the time, so I didn't need him. Ah, uh, that's good. <clears throat> All right, end phase. I have to discard for turn. Um, so I can have six cards. So I'll discard totem dragon. Okay. And I'll reveal Wyvern for okay. Mary Drago. Yep. All right, go ahead. You're, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm so, why did you talk about it? Never mind. I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Okay. Um, all right. Oh, geez. Now I've got far too many cards in my... All right, I'll set one face down. <laughs> and I'll set a back row. Look at that. A back row. Oh, my God. Back rows? I what? know. No. <laughs> I know. I know. And I, I have a feeling I'm going to regret doing that, too. Um, all right, so, um, we've talked about what you predict. Oh, actually, we've also talked about what you think might come back, too. So that covers that question anyways. Um, all right, so actually that one, uh, so here's kind of an interesting question I've been asking people. It, it has to do with, um, I guess, you've been playing for quite some time. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you recall having, like, a really long winning streak or a really long losing streak? Um, I had a losing streak for like a year when I started playing uh, again, <laughs> like when I got back into the game at yep. like, uh, 15, I could not win a single goddamn duel. It was just like when I was a kid, except it frustrated me this time because I was self-conscious and I was aware about it. You know, yeah. when you're a kid, you don't care. You're just having fun. Yeah. But I'm, I'm sitting there like, what am I doing wrong? But I was playing such stupid decks. So, I mean, <laughs> they were all dragon-oriented decks because that's what I always wanted to play. Right. I just couldn't figure out what to do with them. Uh, and then I discovered Disaster Dragon. And when I did discover Disaster Dragon, I still kept losing because I didn't know rulings that well and I didn't know game strategy. You know, I'm one of those, those people that 
when when you play control based decks like Disaster, you have to play very conservatively. Yes. Um, and I was the kind of person that would throw my hand on the on the table if I could. So I learned a, a very a lot lot better uh, sense of strategy with this deck. And then I just started winning, and I just kept fucking winning. Like, That's I awesome. Constantly just, and I had a really hard like winning streak. I would win pretty much every week at my locals and i would top every, almost every regional and um yeah every regional that i went to the only thing i haven't topped yet is a ycs the closest mm-hmm. i've been was day two i went undefeated but then i bubbled in the call uh, and i didn't make the top 32 oh. but i did get a feature match from that but That's um cool. in this past year i haven't really been playing so i guess i could consider this year my losing streak just because I haven't been really active in the game like I used to be. Yep. But I'm going to get back into it after this fan list. I'm going to get back into it the way I used to because I was a very competitive player uh, a year and a half ago and back. So, yeah. All right. So, um, since you're, you're in Michigan now, right? Yeah. All right. You originated in Florida, did you know? Yeah. Okay. Because yeah, I think okay. that's where, when I started watching some of your stuff way back, uh, you were only at like 3,000 subs at the time, too, so... Yeah. That shows you just about how long I've been watching some of your stuff, because I liked your technical videos, I think, back then, so... Oh, that's, that's awesome. I'm actually uh, working on one tonight. I'll have it posted up soon, uh, some ruling video. Cool. I'm going to do one of those. So. That's cool. Okay. I, I usually don't like doing this, but um, it might be an MST itself, but I'd rather do it now. Um, <laughs> See, I... I told you guys I was going to regret this, but I had to put something down because it's my future <laughs> fusion, by the way. What? what you, oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. It's been so Cause, Yeah, because of your uh, Drago. So it was kind of pointless. Yeah, Drago pretty, does, pretty much does that. Yeah, he's pretty oh. much got me handcuffed right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'll attack your face down. That would be Raiko. Okay. Target him? Uh, absolutely. Okay. Uh, and I mill Darkfire Dragon, or sorry, Dark Flare Dragon, uh, Monster Reincarnation, and a Lila. Okay. All right. Main phase two. Yes. This is my Drago. Oh goody. <laughs> I'll reveal. She's Go okay. She's still got me handcuffed for crying out loud. All right. Um, are there any big events that you're going to be at coming up? Um, not quite certain yet. I usually don't plan those things until like a month beforehand sometimes. <laughs> it depends. All so right. I'm not sure yet. But um, I have a deck, a special surprise deck in the works that um, hopefully, I don't think it will be hit by the ban list. If anything, the ban list will probably help it. Okay. And uh, I might, you might see me randomly top an event with that and um, you'll definitely hear about it. <laughs> it's pretty <laughs> funny. Awesome. Uh, well, the thing, the reason I ask is, uh, is, is you're in Michigan, so that's fairly close to Toronto. Yeah. And I'm thinking I may be at the YCS in Toronto. Um, when is that? September. September? Um, is it before or after? Is it like the day of or something crazy? I think, you know what, you mentioned that, and I believe I was talking to Dan, um, I don't know, you, Underworld 6667? Yeah. I was talking to him, and, uh... Because he's out, he lives in Toronto, and he might if if I do decide to go, which is most likely going to happen, he'll probably pick me up from the airport. But uh, uh-huh. um, okay, he, I think he mentioned that it is like I think it's the day of or day after. That is ridiculous. It's either that it's or gonna, it's going to be the most interesting though at the same time because you're go, there's going to be so many people that some people are going to try to stick to the all oh, what they had even if it gets hit. Some people are going to try completely new ideas. Oh yeah, for sure. That's going to be really interesting. Um, the issue for me is I think my passport expires oh. in September. I just don't remember when. So okay. that's... <laughs> That'll be tough. Yeah. What's Unless it cost I get you? a Michigan license. If I get a Michigan ID, big ID, uh, within that time frame, I don't think I'll be able to legally go. Okay. But I'd like to. Yeah. Um, anyways, was it my turn? I'm sorry, or your turn? Did I end? Um, yeah, uh, yeah, it's... Oh, you ended, and I believe it's my turn now. Okay. So I will draw. Okay. Oh, goody. All right, well, I'm going to have to try Darkhole. Darkhole? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because that damn Drago's cramping my style. <laughs> okay. So you're honest, you know? 
I will one, activate. You just bounce your honest to hand, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm bouncing him to hand, and then I'm going to summon Jurgen. <laughs> um, I uh, fall morning. Oh, come on! All right, fine <laughs> then. All right, all right. I will remove a light and dark. All right. Okay. I will summon out Dark Flare Dragon. Dark Flare. Um. <clears throat> okay. Damn it. She's not helping here. <laughs> right, then I'll remove another light and dark. Oh my god. And light pulsar. Alright. Which I'll banish. Ferrari DMD. Okay. I'll use this effect to special another light pulsar from my hand. Okay. All right, I will take another dark and another light. Oh, no, wait. No, never mind. I don't have a light. I used them all. If you're lucky. All right. Like, am I getting OTK? This isn't cool. <laughs> Almost. If I had a light in there, it probably would have been game over. So uh, Now I will normal summon. No, I tried that. You, you, uh, yeah, never mind. I tried yeah, that already. Yeah, I tried and, uh, and warning. You warning my tour guide. All right. Um, okay, well then, all I can do now, I guess, is, is attack with 25. Okay, um, that leaves me at barely anything. Let's see, who's one? Um, light pulsar is 25, you say? Yes. I'm at 800, I think. What? I'm not sure. I suck at basic math. I took 2,000 from morning. Yeah. Uh, 2,500 from Pulsar, 2,800 from Red Eye. So you're at 800. Okay. I think so. I don't know. Let me check it calculated. That's horrible. Um, Sorry, I'm at 700, not 800. That's even worse. You should have stuck with the 800. I would have believed you. <laughs> okay. My turn? <laughs> uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, now, uh, I got a question that I always ask people. Okay. Um, uh, I always say, all right, I usually ask them, have they been to big events? But we all know you've been to big events. Yeah. We all know you're famous for some of your awesome cosplay costumes, I must say. Thank you. Uh, the tour guide one was brilliant. Thank you. Um, so my question to you now then, seeing all your cosplays and stuff like that, uh, who, if you could be a Yu-Gi-Oh character, who would you want to be? Yu-Gi-Oh character, like in the TV show? Oh, it doesn't matter. A card monster, a character from the show, anything Yu-Gi-Oh related. Um, if, if, if it were a character from the show, I'd definitely say Akiva, because she's fucking psychic, <laughs> and that's, that's better than being able to play holograms, because everyone can do that, so right. oh, that would be definitely cool. Um, if I was going to be a character, a card, yeah. um... I haven't really thought of that actually. I that's one of those things that put me on definitely puts me on the spot. Um I, I don't know. Well you make really a good know. tour guide, so I'd say that would be a good a good choice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she doesn't have the best uh, reputation for what she does. <laughs> hey, I like her. I got no problem with it. So many people hate on her and call her a slut. I know, I know, I know, and it's a card, like, really? A slut? Yeah. It's a card, she, man. She gets around. So, yeah, I, I would say, I would have to just say Akiva. All right, that's cool. And that's the mat I have here, by the way. I don't know if you saw that. Oh, awesome. I won that's that cut. from uh, one of my uh, other subscribers there, uh, Neo Dreo. He had a contest, and I won this mat off of him. Oh, nice. Uh, okay. Yeah. Stand by, I'm going to activate Tony's effect. Okay. Alright. And uh, what's in your graveyard, uh, monsters? -wise? Monster wise, I have a Dark Flare Dragon, I have a Sangan, I have a Tour Guide, a Tour Bus, a Card Trooper, and a Gores. Okay. Let's see. Somebody holding Monster Reborn? Oh, yeah. <laughs> kind of thought so. Uh, Alright, so. Um, I asked this of everyone as well. Uh, what was the very first deck you ran? Um, very first, like when I was a kid. 
or like very first when I started playing again. Well, say, well, let's just say, like the first deck, like what, for me back when I learned how to play first with the kids, I threw together like you know it had Jinzo, it had Cyber yeah, Dragon, exactly. it had Goblin when Attack. We were kids, there wasn't really archetypes or anything. The right. Archetype I could remember was Great Beaters, and those weren't really played as an archetype. So it was just random beaters for me when I was a kid. Yeah. I think that's pretty much what we all kind of ran was just beaters. Yeah, exactly. And easily summonable stuff. And yeah. Man, I tell you, when Gob- Goblin Attack Force came out, it was like, wow. Yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. And Gemini also was so expensive. And, oh, when, when yeah. the Mechanical Teaser first came out. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. 50, this will change the meta. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, too, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, um... As for like when I got back into the game, I think the first thing I ran was Cyber Darks. Very cool. Yeah, and uh, Dark Arm Dragon was still like sixty bucks at the time, so oh, that was pretty crazy. You have that any was, like, idea? The last things I got was uh, Dark Arm and Gold Sark, because Gold Sark was also pretty expensive as well, because it was only uh, printed in Jump. Right, right until Gold Series. Yeah. Um, I so, remember no, um, uh, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, Gold Series, and then afterwards, Duelist Revolution Special Edition. Yes. Okay, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Dark Flare has 2,400? He does, he does, yes. Okay. Gores has 27. He's probably a better choice. I just, I don't have enough life points to do anything. <laughs> so bad. Just remember not to attack my Light Pulsar. Yeah, I know. That's exactly why I can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Not just because if he dies, another guy comes out, but I'm still holding no, honest. <laughs> so that's what these are for. They're for these interviews are for distracting your opponent and making them forget what you have in hand. Okay. She um, figured it out, guys. She figured me out. <laughs> I'll special summon darkness metal. Okay. Um. Okay. Close enough. Close enough. Um, All right, while well, you're thinking... This is uh, a Dark Flare. You want to special out my Dark Flare? No, uh, how many stars is he? Five. Five, okay. Uh, you know, Amanda, i got to be honest, with the abusability of Light Pulsar and, and, and Dark Flare and stuff, I'm kind of surprised you don't run them. Uh, that's because I, I just... Cast Dragon is not my play style. I mean, that's it would be no different from saying you're not surprised I'm running like Dino Rapid or Vectors. It's just a completely different deck. Yeah, yeah, I, I suppose that's true. But it does yeah. have the Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. <laughs> yeah, that's about as close as they get. Yeah, the, uh, exactly. Like, there's actually literally nothing else uh, similar about our decks other than Darkness Metal. Um, but I, I'm I'm more of a control based person than um than anything. Um, let's see. Control. And, uh, what else do you have in your grave, sorry? Oh, yeah, no need to apologize. I have no problem telling you. Uh, car Trooper, Tour Bus, Tour Guide, Sangan, and of course the and Gorse. What's in your RFG? What's that? What's in your RFG? I have a Light Pulsar, a Dark Flare, a Lila, a Tour Guide, and a Raiko. Okay. Um... All Monster Reborn Card Trooper. Okay. There you go, guys. She's got a Monster Reborn Card Trooper, so I'll make like that's on your side of the field there. I'll put something over. I'll activate its effect. <coughs> All right. <coughs> All right. Yeah, look at that, Mill. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Your future fusion's as good as mine now. Yeah. I'll activate Darkness Metal's effect. All right. Uh, feels like I got something stuck in my throat. Uh, <laughs> Last dragon. That's what it is. <laughs> You're going to attack what? I'll overlay. Okay. So, um, next question that I have for you is, uh, what's your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! series? Um, definitely the original. <laughs> yeah? Um, I actually don't have my Zen names on me. Is that right if I proxy? 
You sure can. You can borrow mine if you want. How's that? Okay. Um, I'll just use this pearl. Pearl. That's and an I'll, awesome Xyz monster. I'll attack my darkness metal into your darkness metal. Okay. And I'll end. All right. I mean, all you need is a chaos sorcerer or BLS. All right. Um, even if I have a chaos sorcerer or BLS. I can't get it out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no lights in grave. But, but, there could be in a moment. I'm going to ask you one, uh, another question while I'm going to do this. <clears throat> who, if you even have one, who is your favorite Yuki tuber? Um, <clears throat> honestly, no one really. I don't, I... I don't really watch other YouTubers. I don't. I mean, <laughs> probably you were you were probably one of the only people that I watch videos. Inevitable Sane was the only people person other person that I really watched off uh, his videos. Um, well, thanks. I'm I watched, flattered. I watched a little bit of Begin the Uprising stuff. David is such a good guy, Amanda. And uh, yeah, I, you know, I, I definitely saw that, and uh, he 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 uh, he does seem like I don't really talk to him, but he, I do have him out on Facebook, and he does seem like a really nice person. He is he's so um, cool, and I did talk to him a little bit on YouTube. He's a very um, very cool guy, and you know, he lost his dad as well. Yeah. Um, to brain cancer, and I spoke to him for. A, a good almost couple hours on the phone about that just trying to sort of help him get his head space together you know it's uh, really it really sucks I, I haven't lost my dad but um i did kind of halfway lose him um he he got a uh, carbon monoxide poisoning severe oh, and his shit. doctors prescribed him oxycontin yeah and so um it just severely brain damaged him to the point where he couldn't function normal anymore so he's just kind of like He's just not the same person, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it, 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 I kind of felt like I lost him because I hadn't seen him in like 10 years because of all uh, divorce issues that were going on with my mom and my dad. Uh-huh, I've been she there. She had a retraining order on him, and it was sort of a, a resentment thing. He, he should have legally been able to see us, but he didn't because my mom kind of used my brother and I as leverage. And so um, 10 oh, years later, shady. I finally saw him again, and he was just completely damaged. And it was just such a different thing to see that my dad you know this guy that was you know a handyman he would go around fixing everything he would be active every day we'd go fishing every day yeah we'd go uh, dumpster diving every day to find things to fix and he just <laughs> went from that to like someone who just kind of didn't do anything anymore yeah he's just it, there yeah it was really heartbreaking but um i bet and i'm really yeah. sorry to hear that too by the way thanks but yeah i mean I, at least i didn't completely lose him yet you know I'm grateful for that at the very least. Yeah. He's still a guy. Yeah. I had um, very similar with my grandmother. I mean, she had dementia, so she really hadn't been my grandmother for about six years, right? Yeah. Until she it's passed, like, finally. Yeah, that's one of the worst things to see. Yes. To see someone change like that. Oh, Alzheimer's is another thing, because my grandfather had that. Yeah. It's so. very similar. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to make my play. Um, okay. Okay. All right, the cruising conversation over. Oh! <laughs> Charge of the Light Brigade. Oh! Why are you doing this to me, bro? I've got Dark Arm Dragon. Uh-huh. Uh-oh, Eclipse Wyvern. Oh, okay. And Raikou. Well, that's, <laughs> that's pretty much game. Why? Because I am holding Chaos Sorcerer. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, um, I've got one more question for you, and, yep. then, we'll, and then we'll call it an interview. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for doing this for me. No problem. I, I, I love the fact that you're... She's very approachable people, just so you know. But I'm not <laughs> saying that so you start flooding her freaking inbox with stuff. Okay? <laughs> so, so just she's a very, very nice person, just so you guys know that. I'm sorry I didn't have a finished deck to play you with. <laughs> hey, whatever, man. It's a derpy duel, so who cares, right? <laughs> it's all for fun, just so, you know, it's an excuse for... Uh, for us to get on Skype and, and, and actually kind of sort of meet each other and play have a quick duel and interview, because that's how our subscribers, because, I mean, if you want to post this up on your channel, feel free. Um, yeah. I mean, this is how our subscribers get to know us. And, you know, it's funny, because I, I remember I was talking about how, you know, at YCS I met a bunch of my subscribers and stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. 
it's funny because they come up to you and they're like, you know, I almost feel like I know you because you've told us so much about yourself over, over, um, here, I'm going to put my camera back up here so you can see me now because the game's over. But, oh, uh, yeah, um, but it, it's funny. And I thought about it, you know, in a way they're kind of right. It's like, I know I can't see them watching me, but I know they're out there and they're watching and they're getting to know me because I'm revealing stuff about myself and my life. And uh, even my personal stuff, because I'll be honest with you, I don't have a problem with that. Um, and I found that doing stuff like that has shown me that actually with, uh, there are some, let's be honest, there are some weird fuckers out there too, right? <laughs> yeah. But uh, uh, most of them are actually pretty cool. And they, we all kind of bind together like our own little community. And, yeah. uh, of course, there's little offshoots and freaks, obviously, but... Uh, I definitely, I, I mentioned this to um, Inevitable Fan, I was like, yeah. this community has some of the best and some of the worst people in it. Yes, I remember you saying exactly that, and that's sort of where I was going with this. Same idea. But I think the ones of us that are actually, I don't want to, I'm not trying to, like, toot our horns or anything, but some of the more cooler YouTubers or, or, or people that are normal, I guess you might say, that <laughs> more of a... <laughs> just not too out there. I mean, there's a bunch of them. And I found um, that it, they, they do, they approach you and they say, you know, I feel like I know you. And I'm, and it, on one hand, it kind of weirds me out a little bit. But on the other hand, it's like, all right, cool. So I've actually, especially when they tell you that you've made an impact on them, yeah. you know, like you've inspired them in some way. Um, like, me saying to you, you actually re-inspired me to break out dragons again and play dragons. Because one of the first decks I played years back was dragons. But it was a crappy dragon deck, right? Yeah, uh, I know. I mean, too. <laughs> you were talking about how dad was so expensive, especially during the Teledad era, right? And yeah, I used yeah. to sit out at the store in my car and I'd buy boxes of those special edition packs, opening up trying to get a dad, right? <laughs> Instead of just buying it online. But it actually turns out I didn't spend as much as I would have buying one online. I just ended up spending 30 bucks, I think, on... Got lucky, though. And, and yeah. I pulled one in, like, the third pack that I bought. So yeah. I did get lucky, more or less. All right, so... Um, not that you need to tell people this, because I'm sure, like I said, you've got 10 times the subscriber count that I do. But uh, I always ask, this is always my closing question, if some of my by some fluke of nature, if some of my subscribers aren't sub to you and they say, mm, she seems pretty cool. What can they expect from your channel? If uh, they decide to ruling videos, um, create a deck profile. If I post deck profile, it has to be something that's um, obscure that okay. hasn't really seen much play. Um, definitely solid builds. Of those I like kind that. Of deck. I'm obviously not going to try to post something generic. Right. Um, and uh, art videos, lots of media related. art. Videos. She's very good by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Um, all right, that's awesome. Yeah, I, actually, I remember I mailed you a pro years ago. Maybe, well, maybe not years ago, but a year and a half ago, because I saw that you did had you had made mats, and I was watching the one where you're doing the black rose dragon mat, and I was like, oh my god, I want that. <laughs> it's like, and I yeah. think you mailed me back. Oh, they're sixty bucks. Blah 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 blah. Send me, uh, and then I'll mail them, and yada yada, whatever. And and I was like, oh god, I want it so bad. But at the time, I couldn't afford to shell out sixty bucks. But uh, if you're still, I can't even do those anymore. Every, everything took off so much since then. I can't even, <laughs> even offer that price as much as I would want to because yeah. I think that's the price that's fair. I would get way for too many people asking for them, so that's why I have oh, to like, yeah. overvalue sometimes. That's okay, man. I think your mats, after seeing how talented you are artistically, a mat for that price, hand drawn by you and playable. Fair deal, in my opinion. <laughs> All right, so no problems there. Anyway, okay. she, anyway, she's using two cameras, guys. So if you hear that, it's like tape being ripped off or something. It's not an earthquake like I thought. Um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, anyway, thanks a lot, Amanda, for doing this for me. Um, I had a lot of fun. Thanks. Uh, I will. Uh, I'm going to do my sign off, and uh, and we'll just probably chat a little bit afterwards. All right, Yugi Tube, um, that was interview number eight, I think, now. So, yeah, we're climbing up there. Um, there will be more coming up. I think i got one more to do before I do my move. And then you won't see probably anything from me for a while till after I've finished moving, okay? <laughs> so don't panic. I haven't disappeared or been abducted by aliens or anything. It's all right. 
Uh, so I will see you guys later. Series 13, swing a